you have to start from the very base chemicals that are used in your product. You have to analyze the chemicals down to 100 parts per million and share that data with MBDC and then they take a look at what you're using in your product um, and uh, how you can optimize that and then it's, it's a working together sort of process. Using the MBDC team brings a certain skill set that's hard to acquire internally. It, mostly because we don't have material scientists. We have people who are material engineers. People who understand things like tensile strength and, and items, the engineering side of things, but they don't necessarily understand the chemistry side of things down to the 100 parts per million, and that's the level of detail you have to go to ensure that you're providing a toxic-free product. As, as we work with MDC over the years, and, and we've um, used their design protocol to design our products, the, um, I think the, the key to that success is is that we've got our design team in place where we've got materials expertise, understanding how our supply chain works, at the same time leveraging MBDC's um, expertise around toxicology and the interaction with those chemicals in the environment. So we help track down the composition of our materials and we work with, with Bill and Michael's staff to determine whether or not those individual chemicals are acceptable for use in our products and that relationship allows us to develop a, a positive materials palette so that it was, as we develop new products, we're consistently designing products that are better over time. <laughs> the MBDC framework goes beyond offering um, an MBDC fabric or a shade cloth. It's how we will structure the manufacture of the shade cloth, how we then put the shade cloth in our plants, how we're manufacturing the custom sizes that are required for each job, how are we packaging this, are we going to do something with cutting back on our uh, waste that would, uh, would um, accompany this, are we looking at donating materials that are surplus, are we looking at sending our extra material back into the manufacturing plant so that we can manufacture more shades from it? Are we minimizing the use of chemicals in all of these processes? When we developed uh, this product, Pyron Platinum, one of our main concerns was to improve the, uh, the safety of the product by taking out some of the hazardous heavy metals that are normally used as refining agents in glass ceramic processing. We were able to eliminate uh, hazardous heavy metals such as antimony and arsenic, and those are the same kinds of initiatives that MBDC is working toward, uh, just to make the, the health of, of workers um, more safe, and also at the end of the product life, you know, to keep those chemicals out of, the, out of the environment. They came to me with these big, huge spreadsheets with all of the parts in the mirror chair. Are they recyclable or not? Who's the supplier? And, and just on and on, so there, there was a great deal of detail. I would say highly professional, highly skilled. Uh, the people at MBDC are very serious about what they're doing. Um, so it's very collegial, but also very professional and serious. And year on year, we have less interaction with their scientists because we are steady with them and our manufacturing processes are steady. But early in the process, when when we basically opened our everything to them, there was a lot of interaction, very good professional interaction, a lot of good feedback from our material scientists on the quality of the people at MBDC. In many respects, the MBDC team is part of our team, so they're on the same side of the table. I don't see them as adversarial or a threat or whatever. I see them as a great positive contributor to the growth of our solution of products and company and reputation and brand. Uh, very responsive uh, and actually helped us looking at the bill of materials in our fabrics and how we can improve upon our technologies and our vendors technologies in the future so very comfortable uh, very responsive group that investigation opened our eyes and probably helped us on developing filtration systems where the water wasn't being wasted we actually it's a closed loop filtration system and we're following better ways to manufacture it using resins that take less energy, uh, less energy in the production process. We found better ways to transport it uh, by using thinner cross-section materials that were just as strong. We reduced the weight greatly and therefore reduced transportation cost and therefore pollution. When you really take an honest look at your product and your processes, you'll find some weaknesses that, that when, you, when you do identify those weaknesses, it'll make your company better, it'll make your product better. 
and ultimately you'll you'll gain advantages over your competitors by, by knowing more about your product than you did the day before, in my opinion. It's not easy, but we passed with flying colours and we're really pleased with that. We've now been a uh, gold standard for two years, and I think we're one of the only wood products to have the gold standard for two years. It is a tough process, but actually we get it, we want it, and we want to continue with it.